In this video, I will demonstrate how to create your super elevation sections on a corridor using the automated method, how to assign that super elevation to the corridor itself to create the super elevation lanes and compute the super elevation in our project. I'm going to apply the super elevation on this uh, ramp right here. I have under my corridor tab, these are my super elevation tools. I'm going to select create super elevation sections and I'm going to follow the prompts and accept them with my left mouse click. Uh, the name of the super elevation section will be ramp C. It's asking me to locate the corridor or alignment. To use the more automated method, I'm going to select the corridor itself by grabbing the corridor handles. Now it's asking me to select the rules file name. I can alt down arrow to go select it. I'm going to use the ASHTO 2018 Imperial. We provide this with the deliver workspaces. I'm going to set a minimum tangent length of zero. So I will have different sections for different curves and I can do different design speeds after the fact. And once I click OK to that, it's going to go ahead and calculate the super elevation. I see here in my cross section the super elevation has been calculated. And I can scroll through it and I can see if I want to see the actual uh, rates, I can place a temporary dimension in my cross section. And I can see how the slope changes as I go through my super elevation on my ramp. I can also select different rotation types. I can edit the actual super elevation section by selecting it and going to properties. And I can change the design speed, the pivot method. We use crown in this case, but I can select many of the other different options. And if I make any of the changes here, they will be automatically updated to my corridor and to the point controls for this particular template and corridor that was created. Thank you very much.